I'm on my prime, I'm feeling like Steph. All right, y'all, so it's officially been two months since I had the Cybertruck. So I wanted to do a little bit of an update video, let you guys know what I love, what I hate, and whether or not I think it was worth the hype and it was worth the 102,000 price point. So let's do it. I know I've seen a few comments of people saying, oh, another Cybertruck video, another Cybertruck video. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but I still got a few more Cybertruck videos for you guys. Today, I'm doing an update video, as I mentioned. I also got another video coming soon where I'm gonna be wrapping the Cybertruck finally. So I need your guys' help. What do you guys think I should do with the wrap? Let me know in the comment section. I'm not gonna be doing anything too wild like my old cause or off-white wraps that I did in my old BMW. I'm keeping it kind of subtle for this one because the car already gets enough attention. If you're not here for the car, content don't worry y'all know i'm the sneaker guy so in the back of the truck i loaded up over 10 pairs of my newest pickups that i got we're going to be doing an unboxing of all my newest pickups in the back of the cyber truck all right so stay tuned for that i guess we'll start out with the things i don't like about the cyber truck after having it for two months there's not a lot of issues but there are a few things that i don't like one of the reasons why i'm deciding to wrap it is because this thing right here is a fingerprint magnet all right everywhere you go pull up and look at this i just got my car wash yesterday and there's still water spots on the car and people come and touch this car like crazy like people come stick their head in the windows like look inside i literally just had somebody drive up and ask if he can sit in the car I love the way it looks i wanted to keep it in the stainless steel body but it just picks up so much dirt water marks um, stains everywhere like it's so noticeable that I'm like alright I gotta get it wrapped I personally haven't had any issues with rust itself but <laughs> there's rusting on the inside it this it was like this when I picked it up I will say that it didn't happen over time it was like that the day I picked it up maybe I'll talk to the people when I'm getting it wrapped to maybe black that out you guys think I should black that out so you can't see that Moving on to the inside now this isn't really a big like issue it's more so just me being bougie but I came from the Model X I had the Model X Tesla before I had the Cybertruck and one of the cool things about the Model X when you would get in the car I would literally just put my foot on the brake and the door would close and it's just one of those things where you get used to it I had the Model X for over a year so when I got this that was actually the first thing I did I got in the car and I did it and nothing happened so I was like oh man and then the other other thing that isn't really a, another big issue again it's more so just like something i'm personally waiting for is the full self-driving this car does come with full self-driving as part of a part of the foundation series but it's not available yet so if you go over here to the autopilot look full self-driving is still in beta mode but i can't enable it and i think that just has to do with the car being new to the road they don't have enough data hope i hope it doesn't take like a year or two because i had it in the model x so it's one of those things that i was kind of used to if i just wanted to if i was going on a long drive and i just wanted to put it in self-drive mode it was very very clutch the one other thing i don't like about this car actually no it's not really this car it's tesla in general their navigation system sucks I don't know if anybody else has had bad experiences with Tesla's navigation system. There's a lot of flaws with it. I prefer my Apple Maps sometimes, but like if I have my Apple Maps going and I have it right here on charge, it's kind of hard to see. I got to like, you know, peek down. I wish they would just integrate CarPlay so that I can just use my iPhone on the screen for navigation. The one big issue I have had with the Cybertruck and it's probably only in my car is the ceiling. Within the first week that I picked up the truck back in January, I noticed that my roof was starting to come off. So if you actually look, the glass where it's supposed to attach is literally coming off. I'm scared to pull it, but like the speakers right here, I tried to push it up a few times and it was weird. When I pushed it up and I like really pressed, the windshield wiper started going off so i didn't want to mess with it anymore because i didn't want the windshield wiper to stop working especially out here in southern california it's been raining on and off this is something that i got to take the car back to tesla for to get this fixed off before it gets worse but this is just kind of annoying because it's a brand new car but then i also understand it because it's one of the first in the world so there's gonna be flaws with it at least it's not like the flaws i've been seeing where people's doors haven't been closing properly but it's just one of those things where it's like kind of annoying that i gotta take it back to tesla 
because of this, but it's also kind of scary because the wrong person sitting in the back and they pull down, this whole thing might collapse on me. So hopefully I'll get that fixed soon and that might be the only major issue with the car. And that's pretty much the only negatives. So now let's get into the positives because there's a lot more positives than negatives. All right, so the first thing that I tell people when they come up to me in person and ask me about the car is I tell them this car is definitely worth the hype. Super smooth when it drives, and in my opinion, it's a better drive than the Model X was. For me personally, I feel like I'm higher off the road, which is how I like to drive. I don't like being lower to the road, which the Model X, I bought it because I thought it was gonna be like the SUV of Teslas, but it ended up just being pretty much feeling like I was in a Model Y at some point. So the cool thing about Teslas is a lot of the stuff can be updated over software. One thing that was frustrating in the beginning when it was raining out here in SoCal was there was no auto windshield wiper so I had to manually turn it on and let it go on and then manually turn it off when the rain stopped they just dropped the software update where it does it automatically now so now it has an auto setting which is super super clutch also charging used to take forever if I took this to a supercharge it would take over an hour to fully charge with a few updates now they've basically made it accurate to what other Teslas take to charge at a supercharger it'll take like 30 minutes to get a full charge which is way way more convenient than having to wait at a supercharger for over an hour and the one thing I really love about this Tesla versus the other two Teslas that I have had in the past is the accuracy on the mileage I've personally noticed that if I fully charge the Cybertruck to 320 miles that's basically how much how many miles you get on a full charge realistically I'm probably getting like 290 like it's super accurate. And as I mentioned earlier, the car is just a super smooth drive. For me, it wasn't hard to adjust to this wheel because I came from the yoke wheel on the Model X, which is still a little bit different. And I actually prefer this more because it has this bar at the top. I think this car was well worth the hype. And if I'm being honest, the price point, I definitely think it's worth $100,000. Like if I would have got it for the original price that I thought I was getting it for, which was 60,000 for the dual motor, that obviously would have been better. But at the $100,000 price point, point for it being a foundation series and all the extra stuff they include with the foundation series it's definitely worth the hype and i could not be happier with my pickup like i'm so happy i actually ended up getting it i know a lot of people ended up passing on it who did the reservation and i was i was literally so close to just being like no i don't need it but i decided to pull the trigger and i'm beyond happy with it so to answer everyone's question, is the Cybertruck worth the hype after two months of driving it? Over 3,000 miles driven so far, by the way. It's definitely worth the hype. I love this car, and if you reserved one, I promise you, when yours comes in, you're definitely going to love it. Yeah, that was my Cybertruck update. And as I mentioned, I got to throw in some sneakers in today's video because I know some of y'all are here for the sneaker content. So let me show you guys some of the stuff I just picked up. We got to start out with the Ninja Turtles first, all right? Obviously, Ninja Turtles are turtles, so they have shells, so they did it on an Adidas shell toe. But they did really cool packaging to make it look like an actual action figure. And there's an actual comic book that's... Oh, bruh! Wow, price went down, y'all price went down but yeah it comes with the an original copy of the ninja turtles comic obviously modified with the adidas logo i actually was a huge ninja turtle fan as a kid like i'll insert the photo of me as a ninja turtle for halloween and i was actually the red one Raphael. i believe that's the red one right hopefully i don't get flamed in the comments it's not necessarily a shoe that i usually rock a shell toe but like it's a really really good collab like they killed it with this quality is great pizza on the insole and the cool thing is the insole is reversible too so there's two images that you could choose from on your insoles i've never seen that on a sneaker before you got the little bandana eyes right there you got the turtle shell on the tongue ninja power stitched onto the inside probably my favorite pickup that i've gotten all month long i'm not even gonna lie and it's probably the one that goes for literally nothing which is crazy these days nothing goes for anything these days so then i finally got them y'all i finally got them the yeezy pods i ended up just buying a pair from goat and i paid 200 dollars. literally a sock on rubber i guess definitely a waste of money but there's the 20 dollars yeezy pods all right Moving on, Puma sent me a pair of Mellows. This is actually cool that they're still releasing like the Mellow 1s, even though they're currently on the Mellow 3s. This is like a whole pink colorway. I think this is, let me read the card, uh, Iridescent 1s right here. This is a pickup that I got from Got Soul. I'm actually gonna be giving these away on one of my whatnot. So this one's actually a size 10 and a half. And then I know Kanye said for us to not buy any of the Yeezys that have been dropping on Adidas Confirm app because they're fake 
fake colorways. But I'm sorry, man. Kanye, you have made one of the best shoes I've ever had, and that's the Foam Runner. I definitely needed to grab these because I don't know when they'll ever make them again. So I picked up two of the Foam Runners. We got this gray colorway that has like that little tie-dye vibe to it. And I also got the Onyx colorway, which I already had, 90 bucks each. Foam Runners. I needed them. Got a pair of Lost and Founds. I picked these up from Rami over at Cool Kicks. Also copped a pair of the Olive Travises to give away. This one's a little bit of a smaller size. Had them for 800. They gave it to me for 700, I believe. I think I got these for 700. So shout out to Rami. Half the shoes I'm showing y'all aren't even for me. It's for you guys. Moving forward, we got two pairs from Converse. This is an actual collaboration with the store Concepts. I actually love the store Concepts. They have a location in Boston and then they also have a location in Dubai. You guys don't know, Weapons were sponsored by like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. So that was like their big shoe at the same time as like the Jordan 1, that whole era. But yeah, it's pretty cool that they came up with these. Like I would actually rock these i'm not just saying that because i got them sent to me and then they also sent me the low tops but this one isn't a concepts collab this is just a regular weapon low we're actually at an outlet mall right now and we popped into nike and i asked the worker if they had any heat in the back and he brought these out so retail on these sb dunks was 120 bucks they were 30 percent off so i got them for 94 dollars and it is the city of love dunks size 10 and a half i don't know if i'm gonna keep them because y'all know i'm not really a dunk guy so this might be one of those things that i drop on whatnot for a dollar auction we got a pair of curries right right here i used to have the under armor plug but now that they don't be plugging the boy but i'm still a curry fan so i buy the shoes that i like and this is the curry flow troll fours kind of has like travis phantom vibes with the like white black on white stitching just a simple colorway and uh it's one of those shoes where i love them so much for the for basketball that any colorway that comes out i'm grabbing them because i just want to play in them so the last shoe the last shoe is the banger y'all see what the vibe is man official edition trophy room no i didn't backdoor a pair this is just one pair that i got i didn't even get mina a pair this is literally just one pair that they hooked me up with and yes i paid for them all right so don't be going in the comments Comment section with all that back door stuff man this was purchased out the front door the whole theme with this shoe is that it was inspired by michael jordan's rookie card one of the most you know hyped cards of all time one of the best cards of all time and they made the packaging look like it's an actual like card package that you have to open up to see what cards on the inside you open these up and you have the trophy room jordan one load these things are so beautiful super dope details great materials satin on the toe which i know a lot of people were iffy on but i personally like it i think it makes it pop nice material on the black on black mj signature i think that looks super clean and they come with extra laces they got the mismatch insoles to match like the borders of the rookie card i, I really like these now i'm patiently waiting for the home colorway because this is the away colorway hopefully those come out but i'm also hearing friends and family i don't know i gotta ask my trophy room family what's the details on those but yeah, those were the pickups, man. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the Cybertruck update video. Again, y'all want to see the wrap video, make sure y'all stay tuned and let me know in the comment section what y'all think I should do with the Cybertruck wrap. Let me know in the comment section down below. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll see y'all in the next one.